So we were using this Brake Tweaker plugin, and within this we can um, select all the, there's um, six different samples it can play that create the beat. So we ended up with this, um, if I solo the part, you can hear the bass drum we ended up with, which I, I didn't think, think it sounded, sounded, no, exactly. I did, if we would heard, this is a good example, I don't think we would have either put this in if we'd heard it on its own. But, but when we you put it in the track, it, with the track, it gives it a kind of bass quality which the track needed. But there's obviously enough of the top end to give it a tiny bit of punch, punch. through. Yeah. So if I unsolo this again, it sort of almost changes its character mm. when you get all the other sounds around yeah. it because they're they all contribute and, and mask certain frequencies of the, the bass mm. drum and you end up with the, the sort of result that we like. And that's, that. I think, that's exactly the, the thing, what we like. There's no, ultimately, any right or wrong to this. I mean, there are things that everybody, there are things that are technically incorrect, like, you know, something being out of tune. But, but even then, if that's what you want something to sound like, that's up to you. You don't have to do anything other than what you actually want to do. And it's not, you may like this bass drum, you may not like this bass drum, but ultimately if you're the creative person you have to make the decision and you come to those decisions through trial and error and listening to things and I suppose through doing it lots of times you get experience as to what you think you're going to like or know the sorts of style of sounds you like but when you hear other genres of music you've never heard of you suddenly hear sounds you've never heard of and um, you would try and incorporate them sometimes or sometimes you just think I just don't get this I don't like that and that's fine it's not right or wrong yeah, so as you just saw, we often um, sort of put up a, 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 uh, an instrument and, and go through many sounds. Mm. Um, and it, it's one of those things that some, sometimes takes, you know, hours mm. or yeah. minutes, depending on what you find. And uh, uh, sometimes the sounds that you like don't necessarily fit with the track when you actually play the rest of the yeah. track. So it's trying to get them to complement each other isn't yeah. it really because sometimes we will listen to them on their own and sometimes in the track as we have been doing here because mm. yeah as Bob said you, you get a different viewpoint or you can <coughs> hear something in the track and mm. it, it sounds great and then when you listen to it on your own you think I would have never have put that in had I just heard the sound on its own yeah, yeah. Um, so what we've been doing is auditioning lots and lots of different bass drums which is not even you know just one part of the kit but it's such a big part of the, the sound that it's and also the thing is that these things stand out when they're not right rather than when it's working you don't think about it whereas when it's not yeah. working you think it doesn't feel there's something not quite right about it a bit like sort of almost like a bit of bad editing in a film or something you you're not really aware of what it is but you know it's not right so it's still subjective and obviously everyone's got their opinion but we this is the the bass drum that we think we're settling on now yeah but <laughs> and also um, you can sort of do it two ways around. You can have the performance or the loop in the track and audition a sound playing that performance or that piece of MIDI. Um, or you can do it the other way where you're just sort of playing a sound on a keyboard and, and auditioning things that way. Because sometimes, mm. you know, when we're playing more tonal things, Bob will sit and play s sort of parts on the keyboard and I might be f um, changing through sounds on Omnisphere or piano or, or that sort of thing. and. <coughs> Yeah, um, and yeah, and exactly the same part, just one little line can sound totally different. Yeah. If it, and also the style of it makes you play it in a different way, doesn't yes. it? So, you know, if the, lo if the notes tail off in a long decay, you can't play fast. No. So, yeah. But you can't play fast. Uh, well, I know I can't play fast anyway, yeah. but that's why we tend to do this okay. sort of stuff. <laughs>